Hey guys, I just recorded a video and it wasn't recording, so here's my second take. I'm still not really good at this, I'm still using my webcam camera as you can see, but I will improve, I promise you, after I manage to find some time to figure out how am I going to use my compact camera to record videos. I mean, yes, of course, use a tripod in your camera, but I need to know how to look good and where to look at and all that stuff. Okay. So let's just get straight to it. I've received products from various makeup companies recently and some I've, I've been using for about a month and some I've not even tried it yet. So I'm just going to show it to you. So if any of you have seen this or tried this out, please leave a comment below. And those who are interested in knowing how they are like, um, well, I will be updating it on my blog soon enough after this video goes up. Um, Let's start off with this Miss Henna Eyeliner which I got from Netta Cosme. Um, it's, I'm not sure where is it from to be honest but I've been using it for about a month or so now and I really 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 like it because I usually, I mean I used to use the Anna Sui Eyeliner because it doesn't smudge and it's quite long lasting but it is quite pricey and eyeliners and me usually last about a month like Anna Sui's one a month, Urban Decay's one like less than a month because it's so soft and every time you apply something breaks off or you get too much on your eye makeup which gets annoying but the reason why I use them is because it's really really dark and I want my black eyeliner to look Opaque. Yeah, is that the right word? Anyways, um, I've been using the black one for a month now because I always use black eyeliner on my inner corners of my eyes, my waterline and stuff. And this is the brown one so you can see how much I use them. Okay. Um, so far it's been really, really, really good. Like, it doesn't smudge, it's long lasting, it's affordable. And, um, well, it comes in four colors. Not really four colors. Two colors and um, two variations, I guess. Because this one that I've been using is the matte color, which is just brown and just black. The black is like midnight black, while the brown is well brown. Um, the other two has glitter in them. I've not tried them yet because um, I've been using this. I've been saving this in a box to show you guys how it actually looks. Um, the swatches will be seen in the blog post which I'll link below. So yes, this is how it looks like. Okay. And when I sharpen it with a sharpener, it doesn't break, it's steady, it's hardy and it goes on very gently, which I love. Okay. Um, next product I'm going to talk about is this CC cream I got from Bourjois Paris. Okay, it's a tree pigment correction color, which I guess can be a foundation. Um, because I'm not a person that uses BB creams or CC cream, so I don't really know much about it. But I'm going to try it today and tell you how it is in my blog post. Um, there's three colors in it. There's apricot, green, and white. Apricot helps with anti fatigue, while green helps like. It lessens the redness on your face, especially here. I know some girls have it like here, 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 you know, the sensitive spots, but I only have mine like here. <laughs> and then um, the white shade, I mean the white color in it helps with dark spots, which is good because I have a few freckles. So, can't wait to try this. Next one I'll be trying on will be the mascara from the Joyce. Um, it's a one second waterproof mascara. I guess what they meant is you get a smooth application in one second and that should be enough. So I'll try this in this video. So the last one will be the eye cream from the Joyce as well. It's a color correction concealer. So I'll put this on also. And the next thing I've got from Nata Cosme is this water slipping mask. I've not tried it yet but it looks really really cool. Um, I've seen certain reviews by other bloggers 
and they've been raving about it saying that it's really great it's really hydrating so this one you have to see the results in my blog post as if I put it on now you won't see the difference so stay tuned links will be below okay. next product I've got is from Eflom and it's a trial kit which comes with a cleanser, cream cleanser which you will wash off with a soft wash cloth that is provided and it reminds me something like the Chanel cleanser that I use to double cleanse because sometimes if you're not wearing thick makeup or not even makeup at all you do not want to go ahead and use makeup remover am I right? because some makeup remover like the Shu Amora one that I use as well is oil oil based so it doesn't feel so nice when you're not having makeup on you know so I use the Chanel one because it's very calming it smells great and it removes a lot of impurities and then I wash it off with my cleanser and I'll give this a go so you have to stay tuned to my blog as well to see the reviews about this I've, I'm, I've been also given a hydrant cream hydrating cream I guess and a rescue mask so we'll see how this works and I will compare it to this. Okay. Um, so let's just go ahead with getting my makeup done. Um, I know that my previous tutorial was 30 minutes, but if you're planning to see how I do my daily makeup, you can go and check out my other videos. I this side. <laughs> um, let's just start off with the eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Miss Hannah eyeliner. Oh wait, sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to use this cream. Okay, before we get started, I have to clip my hair back, so I might look a bit weird, or not. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm pale as a ghost right now. So, oh, it's dripping. So you can see, it has a nozzle like this, and I don't know why it's all the foundation coming out. Probably because I squeezed it earlier. I don't know. But put a bit in your fingers, on your fingers. Maybe let me close this up. And evenly spread it on your face. Well, I use a beauty blender, but it's not at reach right now. Mm, it smells really good though. Okay, I know I make weird faces while applying my makeup. And I'm actually looking through the webcam web screen right now. So. I might get it on weirdly, but and I might not be able to see how it actually looks like. But so far, it looks really, really good. Like my skin color is more even right now, if you can tell. I only had um primer on. I don't even have concealer on yet. Um, and I can see that my redness around my cheeks, like the veins. I know it's not so visible through my webcam. But, I you can see two spots here, but everything else looks good. And I like how it smells, and it's actually very, very light. It feels very hydrating, like what it says here. It's supposed to be giving you 24 hours hydration. So, I'll have this on for the whole day, so I can write in my review whether I like this or not. So, right now, this is all you get to see, and so far, the coverage is really nice. It's not too thick, and it manages to cover spots and places that needs to be covered so I think that's great for like a everyday makeup kind of thing um, now I'm gonna put on the eye col correction cream and okay I think I'm supposed to twist this yep it might take a while hey why are you not working okay it's up <laughs> As you can see, ta -da, ta -da. okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this like so. Is that too much? Well, I just squeezed it, a I mean, I just twist it a bit and it comes out like this much product. So maybe you can squeeze one and like pass it, you know. So I'm going to dab this around my dark eye circles because people are always like, oh, don't pull your eye back. 
you get wrinkled. It is true, but sometimes if you're rushing, you kind of go on autopilot and you just tend to like pull it. Okay, that's a bit too much on my left eye, so I'm going to just transfer a bit to my right. And go back and tap it all in. I'm going to try not to open my mouth because I'll look weird, right? And there you go. Okay. Make sure you blend it all in so you won't get like this concealering around your eyes, you know, like it looks weird in pictures when you have that concealing. Oh my god, I look so pale right now, but that's fine. Um yeah, it goes on very easy. Application is easy. It reminds me of my YSL concealer. This one. I'm sure a lot of people a lot of you know this. Um, but this is very very light. So if you have very bad dark eye circle, it doesn't really cover that much, but it'll be a very great highlighting pen. But for the price, it's a bit. Mm. So this one, so far it's good right now. Application is easy, it's fast, it absorbs quickly, it stays there quickly. So we'll see how this goes. Um, next step is lip balm. Okay, I always apply lip balm before I go out because it's very drying under the aircon and our weather is a bit messed up in Malaysia. So I'm using the EF EOS lip balm in, I think this is strawberry, I can't remember. <laughs> mm. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. If you're asking me whether this is great or not, or if you've been seeing this around, it's because you've probably seen this on Miley Cyrus We Can't Stop video and who knows what other videos out there. I guess they have a very good, very great marketing budget, I would say, but I actually honestly like it. That's why I'm using it. But I did hear reviews from my other friends who didn't really, really like it. They said it's very waxy and so on, but I kind of like that waxy feeling because it doesn't stay waxy the whole day it just goes it feels that way like throughout your first application and then later on it's just fine and it smells great and it's very moisturizing i remember putting this in melbourne where my lips were chapped and stuff um and then it just got better so what's not that uh, what's not to love about this you know mm, there's tons of different flavors uh and they all smell very fruity very fresh but you can't get this in Malaysia. I got my friend to get it for me from the States, the grapefruit one, which I'm not using now. And this one I bought it in Melbourne for about 12 ringgit. So yeah, a bit pricey, but I like it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is this eyeliner. Um, it might pain you to watch this, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and line my inner corners of my eyes. Don't ask me why my eye, why my eyes are closed. It's how I normally apply my eyeliner. And this will last me a whole day without smudging. Right now, you can see that my eyes are huge already. I'm gonna go ahead and define my brows. Okay, tell you what, I'm just gonna use my mirror. It's so weird to like go up there. Okay, I you I always get like um questions of how do I draw my eyebrow, what pencil do I use? Um before the straight eyebrow thing was in trend. Because my eyebrows are always arch. It's a bit thicker now as well. But it's still arch and I try to keep it as arched as I can. Well I'm using Ampro's eyebrow pencil. I've always been using this. I've never changed. I've never tried another one because I find it very easy. I can do my eyebrows very fast, very quickly um, because it's like a pencil that you just twist and it pops up. Draw as an angled tip, I mean angled pencil as you can see. So it's easy to, you know, get it straight, then arch it and stuff like that by just, like, you know, you're drawing something on a paper. And 
there's a brush at the back so it's easy for you to like manage it without buying something separate so every time you're done with this you can just buy a refill and refill it or you can just buy a whole new thing if you just want a new brush or whatsoever I always buy a new one straight because the brush well it gets a bit clumpy after one one use so it's better to just get a whole new thing it's not that pricey anyway um, and I'll just go ahead and just do this to make the front a bit more lighter so it looks more natural is a bit more done right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my blusher. Because I don't turn red in cold or hot weather and I look very pale as you can see because my skin doesn't really change color. So I need I cannot live without my blusher and that's a fact. I know it sucks right I'm so jealous of you girls that have the natural pinkish cheeks and I don't so for now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the last one by Bajoy's which is the one volume I mean sorry volume one second mascara we're gonna see whether it really takes one second okay. ta-da you know before I started recording this I thought I could do this video in about 10 minutes but sadly it's 16 minutes right now and I don't know why my English is so bad today anyways let's go okay so oh crap I forgot to curl my eyelashes so far in my old tutorial you see me talking about the Shuromora lash curler and it was my first time using it um, I was still very skeptical about how good it is because everyone's raving about it and to me it's like why does it cost so much it's just gonna make your lashes go a bit curled like why can't you just buy the cheaper ones and it'll give you the same thing well I'm wrong and you'll hardly hear that from me I hate anything when I'm wrong but I'm wrong this is actually really really good and the curls last longer I finally can see the difference and why people pay more for this it's because the curl lasts longer so invest in a good lash curler and you don't have to worry about your eyelashes for the whole day so I'm gonna go ahead and curl it now I know guys must be watching girls makeup tutorial and go like damn how can you guys stick a pencil up into your eye and use something that looks like a clamping tool and pinch your eyelashes up well I don't know but we just do it for the sake of beauty Shit girls do to look good. Okay, got it curled. You can see uh, my eyelashes already has some difference by the curl. I'm gonna go ahead and put the mascara now. Okay, it's really thick. The brush is really thick as you can see. There I got moustache. Um, and um, I'm not too sure about the application, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it now. The bristles are actually looking a bit plasticky, rubbery to me, which I don't know is a good or bad thing, but I'm gonna go and try. There's like balls in between the bristles. I don't know what they for, but let's see whether it takes one second to be volumized. So one brush, not really much difference yet. See, it still looks the same. Well, I wouldn't say that my lashes are getting thicker, but I like how easy the application is. I'm not getting any clumps, and it's quite smooth, and it gives a very nice feeling like I'm really combing my lashes. Okay, it's going to take very long if I were to do my the other eye. So, 
my thoughts about this is that it's not as volumizing as the mascara I use on a daily basis, but it has a very easy application. I like the packaging and it's waterproof. This is probably the only waterproof mascara I'll have. So I'll test it out for the whole day and get back to you guys how it feels. So that concludes this vlog right now. Okay, so disclaimer is my vlogs are about things I talk about and it's not necessarily tutorials or things other YouTubers do. It's more a personal way for me to reach out to you where you can hear and see the things I do. And yeah, I babble a lot. <laughs> but I hope that it explains things in a more clear way, um, better than what I can do in writing. So the details will be in writing of course, like the price, where you can buy these items and so on. But how I apply and how I like it, how I feel about it with my expression, you can see it through my videos. So you just have to get that clear before people start commenting like, oh my god, your videos suck, you talk too much and blah blah blah. So anyways, if you don't like it, don't watch it. If you like it, subscribe. Um, that's all for now. I'm going to go and go ahead and sit in front of a mirror and finish my whole makeup. I can go out looking like this with one mascara and none. And um, I'll write it in my blog post about what I think about it, how they last, and pictures of before and after. So, have a great day guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!